This Tao Tao is about to go from good looking to fine. She's getting a serious makeover today. I got all these new parts. I'm pumped up. Let's get right into it. I put a lot of time into making this bike look good aesthetically over the years. Just painted everything with all the performance parts, taping off the turn signals. If you guys been following this channel, you know this build. But I don't want to be done yet. You know, it's pretty, but it could be prettier. So I went ahead and got some parts, man. So really not parts on this one. We got lens tint. Lens tint for this front headlight because this thing is obnoxiously bright. When you're driving at nighttime, people get pissed. <laughs> So to get rid of that, we're gonna put this lens tint on there, but it's also gonna match the bike. So black lens tint, it just sprays on, it's not a film. Once it's on there, it's permanent, so it's kind of like paint, but I'm pumped up about that. That's gonna look good. Then we got some grips right here. Now actually the grips that I ordered did not come in the mail. These are different grips, they're chrome. And I don't really like the chrome so much. I was looking for all black. Yeah, I got black or chrome over here, but I'm painting that black anyway. So we just have to paint this black, but these look pretty good. They're not bad. And it's just going to take away from all this damage to this one over here. From when I wrecked this bike, it's kind of hard to see in the sun, but there's a big chunk missing right there on the top. And then there's a chunk missing over here. We're going to touch up with paint. So we got new grips. New grips are here. They're a lot more soft, but we're going to paint those so they look good. Then we got some mirrors. We got some dope mirrors, man. These mirrors on this bike right now, I've always thought sit way too high and way too far out. Kind of like Mickey Mouse ears is what I've called them. And it's just not too appealing. So these ones right here, these ones are aluminum, but they're also adjustable. They're adjustable both up, down, and side to side. So you can bring it down and push it in like this. Cause I want to have these mirrors much more down like this. And that's gonna look so much better. They're black, of course, and they even have this little flame decal. I'm not the biggest fan of that, to be honest, but it's not that noticeable, and these things are gonna look good. But the Peace Daily Resistance, the number one part I'm most excited about are these. These are RFY, air pneumatic adjustable shocks for this bike. These are about $65 on Amazon, and it comes with two of them. There's only one rear shock on this bike, but I'll utilize it somehow. These things look good. These things look so good. They're beefy, they're big, they're adjustable. They look good, that's the whole thing. I wanna change the aesthetics of this bike, and that's what this is gonna do. This is gonna throw this over the top, hopefully, because I know that these things can be iffy, right? What this is, this is a 280 millimeter shock. So 280 millimeters from eye to eye up here and 11 inches long. The same dimensions as this stock shock is. So I'm praying, I'm praying that it fits. But of course I'm gonna throw it on to find out. If it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, it is what it is. Now you guys know too, but these things are gonna look really good. You fill up air in this canister back here like this and you also can adjust them on the top with a wrench. So there are two points of adjustment for this shock. And this thing is beefy. This thing is a nice shock. I'm super happy to have this. This is the main thing that sparked this overhaul, really. But I'm excited about this. We're gonna get into this. If it don't fit, it is what it is. But if it does, dude, that's gonna look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from easiest to hardest. So we're gonna start out with the mirrors. Then we're gonna move on to the grips. Then we're gonna go on to the tent and then saving the best for last, hopefully we're gonna get these shocks on. Mirrors, grips, tent, shocks. This bike is getting a complete overhaul today. I'm so excited, man. Now getting your mirrors off is pretty easy. There's only one nut right here that you twist to the left and it just threads out. Now to my knowledge, these are eight millimeter threads on this bike stock. But the good thing about these mirrors here is it comes with an eight millimeter thread right there, but it also comes with a 10 millimeter adapter. So even if it isn't, you got the both worlds all good, ready to go. These mirrors here, yeah, they just look so high up. I wanna get rid of them. I'm gonna leave a link to the parts down below where every part I got from, from Amazon, all these parts together were about a hundred bucks. Gotta love Chinese bikes, man, I love that. So let's just get into these mirrors, man. <laughs>
these adapters are definitely coming in handy because the stock thread on this does not fit it's way too big but all you do is you thread these in here and then they screw on top so perfect i'm so glad they came with that let's get back to it kind of loose I'm gonna tighten up these screws down here real good but the threads are threaded into place that suck down just fine but up here these things like to wiggle around and there's two Phillips head screws over here in the inside that you screw in to make that more tight so I'm hoping that these mirrors just don't bounce around all the time that would kind of suck but uh, definitely gonna screw these in harder and uh, <laughs> no pun intended and see what's up because I do like them. I think they look good. I think they look a lot better than the old mirrors do. Definitely a lot better, hell yeah. But uh, yeah, they're kind of loose. So I'm gonna get the Phillips head and screw this in and see if I can adjust that more. So they did adjust just fine. So what it is is two Phillips head screws right here. That controls how much wiggle room and adjustment it has. But if you tighten those down real good, it just sticks in place like this. Now we gotta see what the view is like, right? They're not gonna be no good if you can't use them. So let me go test that out real quick. I'm using the camera as a reference to see what these look like sitting on this bike like this. Oh yeah. Just twist them up a little bit. Give them position. Yeah, okay. So they're not as clear as the other ones are, but you can definitely still see. That's no problem. So they're fine, they work. They work pretty good. They're not as good as the other mirrors are. I wouldn't think they would be, but you can still see perfectly fine. Adjusted like that. Yeah, that looks way better. Damn, hell yeah, two thumbs up, brother. Yeah, that looks good. It just gives it an aftermarket touch to it. They're just smudged up because of all my greasy hands right now, but they look good, they work. I'm gonna paint these. I'm gonna paint the chrome bolts black, black and black and make it match everything, but I am happy with that. And these things were like $10, dude. So definitely a win on that one. Hell yeah. Now for the part I'm not really looking forward to because I BMX. If you guys know this channel, you know that I BMX, I love it. And putting on grips on a BMX bike is even a pain, a complete pain, but especially with this throttle here on the right one. So. This is gonna take some time. This is gonna be frustrating most definitely, but we gotta get this done and it's gonna be worth it. Let's get these grips on, man. After a little bit of sweat and blood, I literally just wrecked my finger on twisting this grip off like this. Damn. So literally what I did is I just hacksawed this thing in half. I cut it down the middle to get it loose and get it going. And then I took my flathead and I dug it underneath the grip on the handlebar and just pried this sucker off. There it is, one done. I'm like screwing them on right now and it's working. It's working. Oh, we're so close. Ah, come on, baby. Let's get in there. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can bang this over a bit. Yeah, there she is. Sweet, one done. Now I've never put on a throttle grip before, but from what I can see is I need to take off this uh, switch panel right here and get the back end off. That way I can slip this because it has a plastic sleeve on the inside there. That way I can slip this off and get this throttle on this. So this is gonna be a learning experience for me right here too. I might have to undo this throttle right under here. It looks like I might. So I don't really know yet. We gotta open it up and see what's going on. After taking this off and looking at it, I can see that it is pretty simple. Back here, there is a little bolt, little head to this throttle cable that fits inside of this throttle here. And it's real loose and it's not stuck at all because it's plastic. So I just gotta get that little sucker out and get the new one on and thread it into place. There's only two screws on this that take it off. There's one screw up here and there's one screw on the bottom. There's a really long one and then a really short one. 
and this thing just pulls apart real easy. Cool. Got everything put back together. I twist it and I can hear it snap down here. But I'm gonna start it up and just see if it works just to be sure, you know? Let's see what it's got. Still good. Hell yeah. It's a little bit loose. I don't like how it's a little loose, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It still works. That looks good. This top part of the scooter is getting a completely different look. I think that comes together real well. Like I said, I'm gonna paint these chrome pieces though. I'm gonna paint it black and black. I'm gonna paint this black too. Maybe that, I gotta do a black. Black, 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 black. Definitely gonna match, cause I see that there's chrome on this here, but the fact that that'll be the only chrome on this bike after I paint the tip of this exhaust again today, it just doesn't look the best when it just sticks out like that. So gonna touch that up, but this, that's what this bike needed, man. Especially after dumping it like that and this is all scratched up. Yeah, good deal. For this spray, this is spray on lens tint. It is not peelable. They have two different kinds. They have a straight up paint like this one. And then they have one that you spray on. And you can peel the layer off, but it's not as durable and it's not going to stay on there. So I went with the permanent stuff. This, all right, I'm a little nervous about it, but... It's gonna look good and it's gonna piss a lot less people off. I'm tired of pissing people off. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing on there, man. I have everything prepped as if I'm painting it and I got this dope flower design to contain the spray. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is it, man. Just gonna go through it as if I'm painting something. Start the spray over here, left to right, right to left, and just get this thing nice and light at first. Now the coats take about 30 to 40 minutes in between to dry before you hit it with the next one. So I'm prepared for a wait, but it's ready to go. Can is over here. Let's do this. Good morning. So the first spray is down. This stuff is very light. It is very light. You can't really notice too much of a difference. I definitely see one from before because I'm just looking directly at it. But yeah, it's not that heavy at all, but I'm still gonna do this right. I don't wanna over smoke this thing. So I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes to get this dried again. And we're gonna hit it with a second one, maybe a third. This is why they use so much of this because yeah, it's really, really light. I mean, you can't even tell on camera that there is a difference, but looking at it, there is. So we'll wait and we're gonna hit it again. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this area over here. There's definitely some parts that need to be touched up. This rusty bolt here, this rusty bracket. There's a bracket down there that's rusted to crap. All this back here used to be pretty and black and solid. There's some rust on that. And then the paint is scratching off back here. So we're gonna hit up this area. We're gonna hit up this area, that bracket, that bracket, and that bolt right there. With some black gloss paint, paint, paint. And this is a protective enamel too, stops rust. So. Looks good, and it's gonna feel better. Cool, let's get into it. We got this thing all taped off where it needs to be. It's not necessarily gonna look the best, but I cannot stand all this leftover rust right here. So I'm just gonna hit that black. So the, the header is gonna be chrome from where it connects to the head of the motor down to this bracket. But then all this, everything that you see not taped off is gonna be sprayed black again. So I got all that taped off. I got the bottom black, black, black this is going to refresh this pipe to where it needs to be it's in desperate need of some fresh paint let's get this muffler fresh again man good morning good morning son how are you skies above Gee, it's great to be alive and love mufflers back there chilling drying off for a minute looking good we got those shocks man almost ready because we're going to hit this with one more coat of that tent real quick it's been about 35 minutes and get it a little bit more dark than what it barely is. That spray is drying up there on that headlight again. So without further ado, let's get into these shocks, man. I keep saying shocks, plural, shock, just one. But this, it's big, it's definitely a big unit and I'm a little nervous about it actually clearing. When I got these shocks, I made sure to get this dropout right here too, so it can fit 
around the outside of that. If you get these shocks, you have to make sure that it has this so that it actually fits into place. But yeah, this thing is uh, kind of beefy, but there's only one way to find out. And it's real easy to get apart. You only take off this one bolt here and then this one bolt up here and it just slides on out. I'm pumped up about this, man. Nervous, but pumped up. Let's do it. But this problem here, man, getting this nut off that's way back here, I got to twist it to the left, of course, but not the most convenient to get to at all. Ugh. Yeah, this is not an easy one. So here's the situation. I need a 13 millimeter wrench, just like this. The 13 fits this nut back here that's what it wants and the 13 fits uh, this one i can't even get in there to see what it is so this one there's a 14 but it's loose but i'm gonna take out this bolt here so taking out this bolt right here i need a 13 inch wrench and this ain't doing the job this little flimsy thing and apparently I don't have a 13 inch, 13 millimeter wrench. So, gotta make a trip to the parts store. Dang, man. Good news, I have a torque wrench to get up in there and get that off of there like that. Bad news, this socket that I have is way too long. I need a short 13 millimeter socket in order to have enough room and clearance to get up in there with this. So, good thing Harbor Freight is right over there. Let's go do this. Walk into Harbor Freight. Good deal that it's so close, but dang it, man. Didn't expect this. It's all right. And Harbor Wright is freaking close. What do you know, man? Sunday, Easter Sunday. I really hope that they have it over at Meyer over there. Uh, let's go find out. Wouldn't you know it? Ace is closed over there too. Freaking Easter Sunday, man. What bad timing. All right, we're gonna drive Meyer. What an adventure this is. Quarter inch drive set for $22. Man, dude, the stuff you gotta do just to get one socket sometimes, but I'm at a grocery store. So here we go. Ah, let's pray that it's in there. Come on, baby. You're not gonna believe this. Oh my God, I finally got the socket to go on there and that was turning over just fine. And the adapter piece on top because it was too big broke. This is just my luck with these bikes. Every time I work on my bikes, some bullshit happens, man. I don't know where to go from here. Nothing fits. Absolutely nothing fits. I am standing here. Dude, I cut apart all the shit back here just to get access to this one single bolt and I can't get that bolt off because no matter what I do, this is one size too small. I need a 14 millimeter. This only goes to 13. All of my sockets are way too long. Dude, I am so angry right now. I'm sitting here with my bike ripped apart because I am one socket too small one socket too small everywhere is closed and it's easter so i'm making my way to the store okay now we're at walmart three inch drive 11 piece socket set 14 and 13 right there come on man after an extreme extreme amount of frustration time money 40 dollars holy crap just to get this nut off of this bolt that secures that in place. Dang, man, but it is done. Okay. So it looks like there's enough clearance for this right now. Let's get this threaded in here. Okay. Looks like there's clearance for the shock still. Let's get this screwed on there. Need my eight millimeter socket. There is sockets everywhere right now. All right, eight millimeter socket. Let's get this in there. This, I need my extension. Okay. The 
thing I don't like is it doesn't thread to the other side. I wonder why that is. So there's a small problem. All right, so now it's threaded to the other side. All right, good deal. Good deal. But it's really loose. Um, I, need a, I need a wash. It comes with washes right here. Because there's a gap. There's a gap in between the fork and the eye that it goes into. Okay, so let's try that out. Okay, so much better. Yeah, you gotta put that washer in there. Still a little loose, I don't really like that. You gotta put two washers on each side. So it's happy with two washers. That's what it needs. So, we just bang this down. All right, now we're talking. So I'm using two washers on the inside of this fork right now to get this thing happy where it wants to be. You gotta get this thing just freaking right, man. So it screws into the other side as well. Hell yeah. Okay, man. It's on there. All right, it is on there. And you can see there's only that much room of a gap between the tire and the spring, but it's enough to clear. So I don't have this tightened up all the way up here yet above the shock, but I'm gonna give that a nice screw down. This back here, those are those two washers I was talking about. I had to put one washer in here and one washer in here to get this bolt to go all the way through. But it does fit. It in fact fits. So, we just got to get it on our feet, baby. You're Look at that, up. boys. So scary. Mom saved the day. Say hi, Mom. Hello. This is my beautiful mother. She is finally on this YouTube channel. I was stranded. With this bike being disassembled, that bike not running, no BMX bike, no car here, nowhere to go to go get this socket, to get this thing on, she saved the day. If it wasn't for her, this wouldn't be happening right now. But it looks good, boys. I mean, look at that. It doesn't sit unevenly. The rake didn't change forward or backwards. The shock actually compresses like the shock is supposed to do now. And I can adjust it with this wrench right here. So I can twist it right to compress it more or I could put air in there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's good as is. Of course, I'm going to ride it around and see how it feels, but dang, that thing looks good. That looks really good. That's a good looking shock. It really adds to this whole unit. I wish it was chrome, but that's okay. It's not the biggest deal. We still got to put on that muffler back there. We got a few things to assemble. We're gonna hit this with one more layer of tint because it's not too tinted and we want it a little bit more tinty than that. But this bike is, dang, it looks good. All right, everything's where it needs to be. There's no rubbing going on, hell yeah. Oh, look at that, the shock actually works like a shock is supposed to, hell yeah. That is soft, you know, he got some actual, this is gonna be good, hell yeah, man. This works, look at that, check that out. You know how stiff those stock springs were? Dang. Boys, it's on there. It looks kind of choppy right now because it's not gloss. This is that matte color that I was talking about. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry for about 30, 40 minutes more. We need to get that muffler back on here anyways to get all the tools cleaned up. There's tools everywhere. But there's some small details to take care of. We're going to hit this with gloss and make it look good. Let's get this pipe unwrapped so we can put it back on the bike. This is going to look a lot more crisp and clean now. Good morning, sun. How are you? Skies above. Gee, it's great to be alive and love. Good, good, good morning, sun. Pipe is back on there. Wouldn't you know it, the tape ripped off a piece of paint. Son of a gun. Don't worry, I'm just gonna magic sharpie it. It'll be fine, but once that one little dot is gone, good deal, back in business. No more rusty, crappy look. 
This is all taken care of in there. Besides this nut, I forgot about this nut. But it's really not the biggest deal. This bike overall is looking pretty dang good. And I gotta take care of this gloss when that dries a little bit more. We got those mirrors. I can't wait to see what this bike looks like when everything is together. So close. One last thing before I can peel away the covers on this bike. Let's get this gloss coat on there so it doesn't look so flat. And we're good. I'm so excited to see this bike. Good morning, son. All right, let's peel away the layers now. Good morning, life. Final product. This thing looks sharp, man. It looks so good. I want to get rid of these chrome bits still. I'm focusing on that. I can see this chrome sticking out, but it's really not a big deal. And you can see the tint in here too. It's definitely darker from the side like this. This is all good. This is all blacked out over here again. Damn. Yeah, nice Corvette. Anyways, this, this is the main piece, man. I was so excited and so nervous at the same time to get this on. That looks so good. That just screams like aftermarket shot. This thing, aesthetically, this thing comes together. This looks good. I like this. I still haven't rode it yet, so I'm gonna ride it around here because there's definitely a lot of little bumps and stuff. But we'll see. Let's go take it for a ride. So the mirrors vibrate, as you can see. When you're riding, it's good. But when you're at a dead stop like this, yeah, it definitely likes to vibrate. But boys, this bike feels like a bike. It has shock. It has give. When I'm hitting these bumps around here, it supports itself. I wish y'all could see the suspension. There's nice little bumps around here. It feels good. Damn, it feels so good. Definitely worth the upgrade and handling and feeling alone on this. Yeah, I like this. These grips feel pretty good too. They're round, so they're more comfortable in your hand and it's like a soft rubber not a hard plastic yeah this bike actually feels good now sweet what a good day for this bike this bike has been through so many upgrades in its life but i never really paid attention to aesthetic things like this but i couldn't ask for more man they, all these things turned out so good to my expectations which is rare and this thing exceeds it dude i didn't expect it to feel so much more comfortable but it definitely does this bike looks good. I'm not done yet. There's a who knows what I'm going to do with this thing next. I don't even know. But this was definitely worth the upgrade. These things, 60 bucks for two of them. So I have an extra one on top of it. And the mirrors. Yeah, they shake around a bit, but you know, it's not the end of the world. The Vento is still getting love. Don't worry about that. I wanted to dive into this more because I got all the parts today. But that Vento is getting painted up. That's going to be fresh, going to be fit still waiting on that piston ring i messaged them again so let's see what they say this time but this bike is good man this bike is the og she deserves some love and she definitely got some today what a good day frustrating but very good at the same time thank you guys for watching i'll be around both of these bikes will be around until next time